All right, well, the next speaker needs no inter introduction. Uh, he's been just fabulous all morning long, leading this, emceeing this. Uh, he, he is more than marvelous. He is a Las Vegas headliner. He is a longtime, well-known radio personality. Put your sticks together, even if they get mad. Put them together right now for the one, the only, the incredible, Marvelous Mark Camp. Bring him a hand. Come on, Mark. Yeah. Woo! Congratulations, you just nailed your first audition. Yeah! Does anybody know what Steve Jobs' business model was? He told us in his book, but a lot of us missed it. You know what? We've got the drumsticks. Let's keep it engaging. Can I have a drum roll, please? Drum roll, please. Drum roll. His business model was the Beatles. That was nice. The Beatles. And that's my point and entire premise. The CEO of Apple, a company that helped change the world as you know it, used the Beatles as his business model. So that got me thinking, what else can you learn from rock stars and apply it to your business? Turns out, a lot. Today, if time permits, you're going to walk away with four solid rock success principles. Oh, man, I hate it when that happens. Give me a beat. Thump, 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 thump. Thump, 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 thump. All right, there's Steve Jobs. There's the Beatles as his business model. And I was about to say, if time permits, today you're going to walk away with four solid rock success principles that come directly from rock stars that will help stimulate your way of thinking about your business. And the cool thing is, you don't have to hang out with groupies or trash your hotel room. Yeah! Depends on your expense account. So put your drumsticks together and let's get this party rocking. What do you say? Yeah! Did you know that almost every popular rock song that you hear is made up of some variation of the exact same four chords? It's true. We're going to watch a real quick video from a band called The Axis of Awesome, where they're playing a bunch of hit songs all sung over the exact same four chords. So put your drumsticks together. Let's beat with the music and see how many of these you recognize. Crank it up. That's your cue to go thump, thump, thump. There you go. Say that Taylor was a good girl, never wanted to be late, complaint, express ideas in the brain. Some love like I've never needed love before. I'm gonna make love to your baby. Take on me when I come around. Take me on when I come around. I'll be gone when I want to. Sounds like somebody has some really tight underwear. These four chords are the building blocks or the foundation of most great rock songs and for business and industry success. And when you master them, then guess what? You're on your way to becoming an industry or business rock star. And I've broken them down into four chords because I call the four principles the four chords of rock star success. And I've broken them down to the A, the B, and the C, and the D chords. But you know what? Today, we're going to do them backwards. Why? Because we're rock stars. We don't have to play by the rules. We're rebels. We do things differently. So put your drumsticks together, and let's welcome our first chord to the stage. Dream on, dream boom, on, boom, dream boom. On. Dreams, goals, vision. Now, we have all heard that we have to have dreams and goals and vision. And nothing could be further from the truth. 
But what's cool about rock stars is that they have totally unreasonable dreams. They don't just want to get by, pay the bills, have a nice retirement. They want to take over the universe and make a difference. In Madonna's first American Bandstand interview with Dick Clark, he asked her, he said, Madonna, what are your dreams? And her reply, to rule the world, Dick. Unreasonable? You bet. Therefore, rock star success requires an unreasonable dream. And I would argue that your continued business and personal success is going to require an unreasonable dream. Do you remember the band Kiss? Rock and roll all night, party every day, the song Beth, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. How in the world did Kiss get out of the garage and become rock legends? Like millions of other bands, they were just two guitars, bass, and drums. But Gene Simmons had an unreasonable dream. He said, we want to create the greatest and most raucous band in the world. Unreasonable. And the key point here is that they were willing to do what others were not. Imagine the early 1970s, Gene Simmons and the boys sitting around their garage, and Gene goes, what can we do to make our band different? You see, I wonder who it was that raised their hand and went, oh, hey, Gene, we can put on makeup that makes us look like a cat and a demon. Oh, oh, Gene, I wear my wife's spandex around the house. and I mean, uh, we could wear spandex around. Nobody else is doing that. That's pretty cool. And we can all get pumpkin plants. I tell you what, Gene, you stick with the uh, tongue and plant, and we'll do the makeup and the spandex. Kind of sets you apart from everybody else. So my question for you is, what are you willing to do that others are not? Others meaning your competition. Show up early. Stay late. Bring drumsticks to a presentation. Go the extra mile. Napoleon Hill says most people don't even go the first mile. So your decor is this, dreaming big, unreasonable dreams, doing what others, meaning your competition, are not doing or afraid of doing for a greater payoff in the future, and then you just don't stop believing that you can do it. So who's ready to get unreasonable out there? Make some noise. Come on. Yeah. In fact, I need three volunteers right now, three volunteers that want to get unreasonable. And because of time constraints, I have pre-selected the volunteers to come up right now. But in a normal uh, meeting session, uh, we would have your C-level executives, uh, your salespeople, your VPs all come up here in front. So give them some drumstick love because right here, they are willing to do what others are not. Just line up right in front. Just let, well, you can get up on the stage, all right? No, that's fine. Because today, folks, we're going to have the very first ever Red Propeller Marvelous Mark Opportunity Rocks Air Guitar Contest. And just so you people know, this ain't T-Ball. There will be a winner and a loser. All right? You guys grab your drumsticks, give them some love and support, and three, two, one, go! And the crowd goes wild! Make some noise! Yeah! Woo, work it, whatever it takes. What are you willing to do that others are not? Get up in front of your peers and rock out, yes. Woo, stage jump, look at that, Devin, good job. Imagine your VP doing this. And the crowd goes wild, woo. All right, give them some drumstick love. Thank you very much, go ahead and go out of the seat. Enjoy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now we are going to put our drumsticks together and welcome the C chord to the stage. That's your cue to beat on the table. Yeah. Cha change. See, rock stars always drive chains to achieve their unreasonable dream, their D chord. And here is the one thing that most everybody miss about how rock stars change. They change intentionally. 
It doesn't happen by accident. And for you to drive change, for you to create change, you have to change intentionally. And that means purposefully reinventing on a regular basis. Orchestrated evolution. Because what happens when you don't change intentionally? You end up like these guys, like a blockbuster video going, oh, man, why didn't we think of putting red boxes in front of stores? I'm so stupid. Or a Borders book saying, oh, online book sales. Why didn't we think of that? We could have cornered the market on online book sales. We could have been Amazon. I'm sure glad they started selling groceries. See, we have to change intentionally. We have to create our own change. And I'm going to give you a couple questions right now that will give you a guideline to help you start thinking on how you and your business can create change. Take a picture of the slides, write them down. Right now, we're going to channel Lady Gaga. I wake up in the morning. I make my hair bow. I put on my cat suit. And I call up everyone in the house of Gaga and say, how are we going to be brilliant today? Air phone drop. What an awesome question it is. How are we going to be brilliant today? What if you ask your team members that question every morning? What if you open up your meetings or your jam sessions with that question? Or just as an individual, I mean, every morning I wake up, I jump out of bed, I run into the bathroom, I look in the mirror and I go, how are we going to be brilliant? Ooh, you're a sexy beast, baby. Yeah. And then I say, how are we going to be brilliant today? And the next is the Jay-Z question. The Jay-Z question. Thank you, all three of you. Jay-Z says, how can we change the industry together. Unreasonable. Have you ever asked that question to yourself? The answers will create change. The answers will drive change. How can we change this industry together? And this is another great, great question to use when you open up your team meetings, or as we say in the rock business, your creative jam sessions. And a band that was not afraid to create their own change were these guys. The Grateful Dead, and Jerry Garcia said it best, and your leaders, you really need to hear this. This is awesome. Just let me channel Jerry here. You do not merely want to be considered the best at what you do. You want to be considered the only one who does what you do, man. Jerry Garcia got it, and this was way back then. And this would be a great mission statement, a value proposition, a screensaver. Live by these words, and you too will be able to change intentionally. You will be the change driver. Now, our next chord is the B chord, and B stands for the band. But unfortunately, we are about out of time. So in a real-life situation, we would do a team-building exercise with the drumsticks, and we would give you three key principles on how to keep your band working efficiently and playing nicely together. Because when the team wins, we all win. And the last chord is the A chord. And A stands for action taking daily massive action because you can have a big dream. You can see the change you need to drive. You can have the best band in the world, but if you don't take those daily massive action steps, then none of that means anything. And we'll give you three strategies that you can use to take action. And speaking of action, uh, let's just do something fun right now. Everybody take out your, uh, your phones, your uh, smartphones, your devices, your iPads, whatever you have. Open up your reminder. I'll do this with you. Open up your reminder or your calendar. Go to today's date. That would be uh, February the 28th. And then this is what I call a rock star fast forward or a fast forward. Let's go forward one week. So we're looking at March the 7th. Pick a favorite time, 8 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Hit the little plus button up there and write in the words, 
Opportunity rocks. Just type that in there. Opportunity rocks. And then set a reminder. And that reminder is a week from today to call your friendly red propeller agent and find out more information about Marvelous Mark and how we can deliver rock star results to your, <laughs> to your event or meeting. Now, that's, that's kind of a joke. I mean, I do uh, hope that you uh, call and allow us to rock out with your people. But I do this at the end of every conference because meeting planners and clients hate when a speaker leaves or a motivational speaker leaves and there's no one to keep them accountable. So I actually get the whole audience to do this. They sit in a reminder, and I make it a daily reminder, to play their four chords every day because you have to hold yourself accountable. And that's just one step that they can do to take action. So while you have your phones out, hold them up in the air, just like we're at a rock concert. And four chords. It's the perfect formula for a hit song. And now it's the perfect formula for you to be the rock star that stands out in an overcrowded industry. If you act right now and don't stop believing you can do it. We're going to do some rock star karaoke. Everybody stand up and let's sing along out loud. Sing it. Just a small town girl. I can't hear you. Everybody. Living in a little bit louder. Turn up the volume. Crank it all the way over to the right. Keep working those drumsticks. Where's my energy? Come on. Shout it out. Michigan! You guys, thank you so much for allowing me to deliver a little opportunity rocks into your life. A lot of people come in after lunch and you just had something to eat. You're kind of sluggish. The energy's down. That's why they bring in a guy like me. I'll take the tough spots for your meetings and events. Thank you so much. Enjoy your drumsticks. Ryan, it's all you. And the crowd goes wild. Woohoo! Drumsticks together. He deserves drumsticks together. Come on. Marvelous Mark.